right there. Hey, data lovers, and welcome to another I Love Data Fridays here at the International Data Evaluation Center on the campuses of The Ohio State University. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a little special episode of I Love Data Fridays, our little summer edition here, episode number 28. And in today's episode, we're briefly going to be talking about the changes to the website, our website updates for the 2018-19 school year. So, hey, who's talking data to you today? Well, you've got me, Jeff Breimer Bashore, Director of IT and Operations here at the International Data Evaluation Center. And so here are our topics for today, and we don't have much. Uh, our order of our operations, as I say here, so we're going to be talking about mostly about literacy lesson changes uh, to the website. So what changes and questions we have for literacy lessons? All of the changes we have are just for literacy lessons. So I think without any further ado, let's talk a little data. 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 All right. So as I said, we're really just going to be talking about literacy lessons today. And ladies and gentlemen, most of the changes that you're going to see re in regards to literacy lessons are us removing uh, a lot of questions from various data entry pages. And at the very end, then I'm gonna talk about the student exit page, data page, where we've changed, uh, we haven't really removed any questions, but we've um, added some questions and some new logic to it. And I'm just gonna explain that briefly. But as you see on my screen here, um, you can see, you will find that on the building data page, we will have removed about 33 questions which will leave your teachers with only about six questions to respond to. On the teacher data page, we've removed four questions. On our student background data page for literacy lesson students, we've removed two questions. On the fall data page, we've made no changes, so that is exactly the same. On the entry data page, we've removed one question. On the year-end data page, we've made no changes, so you will find the same exact questions on there. And then finally, and I'm going to go over this in depth, we've made some fairly big changes to the exit data page for our literacy lessons students. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to detail them on the next slide, and then I'm going to bring over uh, a web browser window, and we'll look at the what they look at what they will look like on the website when we roll the website over for the 2018-19 school year. So on the exit data page, uh, we've added a new question, a question 19, and it asks, when did the intervention stop? And teachers will have two choices. They will indicate whether it stopped on or before April 30th or after April 30th. If they indicate that the intervention stopped on or before April 30th, they will then, uh, the logic of the website will then have them uh, pick a response for question number 20, which is what is the status of the intervention? Um, and then depending on their response to question 20, they may have to answer question 21 or 22, or they may have to answer 23 or 24. Um, uh, so I will show that on the next screen where that, how that logic plays out. If they select for question 19 after April 30th, um, then questions 21 through 24 get disabled and teachers will be then required to answer question 25, which asks actually the same question, what was the status of the intervention, but it has uh, one extra status in there. Um, and then just depending on their response to number 25, teachers may have to answer questions 26 and 27, or questions 28 and 29. So let's take a quick look at the what that looks like on the website. I'm gonna bring it over here. So here we go, here is a new copy of the exit data page. I'm gonna to try to center screens, uh, things on the screen here. I'm gonna move this over. So here is our new question 19. When did the intervention stop? So like I said, if we select on or before April 30th, um, teachers will be required to answer question 20, which is a question about the outcome of the intervention. If, for example, they select the first one here, uh, which is uh, the child does not need any more literacy lessons support, they actually don't have to answer 21 through 24. But, for example, if they go down here and we select the option where there are some additional recommendations, 
um, the 21 will become available and the teacher can specify what those recommendations are. If they happen to select other, they will be asked then to provide a little explanation of what the other recommendations are. Uh, 23 and 24 only become enabled if the teacher selects external reasons for leaving or exiting uh, literacy lessons and then the teachers will see that then question 23 becomes enabled. They will select the reason uh, why the external reason if they select other they will have to then fill in an answer for question 24. All right so now if they ask if they answer after April 30th Teachers won't have to respond to questions 20 through 24. What will happen is questions 20, question 25 becomes enabled. And it has one extra uh, status indicator. So once again, right here, the next question on 25 is, you know, what is the outcome of the intervention? For example, if we select the first one, um, there are no, there's no other additional information needed because in this scenario, we're saying that the child um, no longer needs literacy lessons or additional support. But for example, if we select that they have an additional recommendation for the child, uh, 26 becomes enabled. They indicate what that extra recommendation is. If they select other, they type in what the other recommendation is. If they happen to select an external reason for re exiting uh, literacy lessons, um, they will be directed to answer question 28 and they indicate that external reason. If they select other, then they will be asked to complete question 29. So there you go. There is a brief introduction to the changes um, that you will find on the website for this year. It's all literacy lessons changes. If you're curious to as why those changes uh, uh, are happening, here is a quick link that you can click on back to watch the IDEC uh, update at the Teacher Leader Institute where uh, Marianne Doyle explains uh, the rationale behind some of the changes that you're seeing on the website there and you can watch that and know for yourself. All right, so here we go. I'm going to queue up some music, I think. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I messed up. Let me go back. All right, there we go. So, hey, everybody. Thanks again for watching another I Love Data Fridays here with me, Jeff Brimer Bashore at the International Data Evaluation Center. It's always good having you. And hey, everybody, we will talk to data. See you later.